Good morning, little saints. It's worship for Wednesday. Music. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> There's a reason. As there always is. Oh, Britney. <laughs> up this morning that we just had rain we didn't even have thunder come through but I, we had rain come through this morning and it woke me up it was 10 till 3 and I never did go back to sleep we're all just supposed to push through things like that aren't we? push through keep going deal with it whatever I am so sleepy so I read in the Upper Room Daily Devotional Guide today, This it was about greed. Give me more. Get it? The whole thing was about greed and hoarding, and it talked about how a hummingbird, it seemingly, a hummingbird seemingly wasted his time going back and forth between two feeders that this guy put out. Um, I, I just assumed it was a guy. I didn't read if the author was a guy, a woman, or a guy, a man or a woman. Anyway. The author put out these two hummingbird feeders, and if you've ever watched them, the male, the, the males tend to be very territorial about the food at certain times of the year. And so, even though there were two in separate different places, he kept going back and forth between each feeder, running off all the other hummingbirds, and nobody got to eat. So, it was about hoarding. And I think, uh, you know, that combined with hearing, I continue to hear in the news, about all the Occupy movement. Um, we have one here in Nashville called Occupy Nashville. It's really interesting the way things are set up at the Capitol in Nashville. They're occupying the roof, which is Legislative Plaza, um, the roof of where the legislature meets. So they're right on top of things. Oh, I just made that up. But I, I kind of see the point. They may, it may not be very clear about why things are the way they are, but there's some screwed up stuff, really, because, and I, I say all this and it's like this judgment, but what am I doing to change it? I don't know. I'm sure not spending the night out on Legislative Plaza, no. But I know somebody who is, and it makes me wonder and think. So I guess that's the point. But anyway, I know that hoarding is not biblical, and I think of the manna that when, when they tried to hoard the manna that came down that God provided the Israelites when they were wandering in the desert, it didn't work. It rotted the next day. Hoarding doesn't work. And then I hear how much money just in Florida alone was spent on the campaign, and I'm like, there's got to be a better way. Got to be a better way. I don't have the answer though. What's the biblical answer to hoarding? It's hospitality. That's what it is. So your challenge for the rest of the week is instead of to say, "Give me, give me more, give me more, give me, give me more," to be hospitable and welcoming when it's presented to you. You don't have to go out of your way. Just be who you are. Go about your regular stuff. And when you're given the opportunity, it'll happen to be hospitable to someone else, to uh, welcome them, to serve another. Uh, take that, make that choice. All right, that's it. This is going to start over, maybe. We can hear her say that one more time. No? It's not. All right, so peace to you. Bye.